as you can see, this is our ball balance all modeled up. It's pretty simple. We have a bracket here for the servo. Then we have a countersunk screw hole and a screw fastens this link right directly to the servo. So basically this guy turns and it's a four bar linkage that just moves the plane up and down. Our design was a cantilever, essentially. So uh, the full 12 inches starts at the pivot and just goes in one direction. The ball ro rolls along here. Uh, we included a tail for the potentiometer to stay flat until the end of the sensor. That way uh, any bends in it wouldn't give any false readings. Uh, we have two uh, backstops here that we uh, intended to just press in. And yeah, it's pretty simple. We just have this uh, base support structure, four countersunk screws at the bottom holding it together. a free body diagram representing our system. The equations of motion can be used to solve for the relationship between the angle of the beam and the ball movement. The equations of motion can be developed into the following form. From reaction forces on system, M can be solved. After solving for M, it is necessary to solve the angle of the beam. This can be done by equating the value for m to the force of the ball and gravity. Here are the equations of motion. Taking the Laplace transform and rearranging the equation gives the transfer function. Here is the PID block diagram. XRFS is the input of our system, and in this case, it's the rotary potentiometer, the dial. We set it to the distance we'd like our ball to go. X of S is the output, and this is the actual location of our ball. D is the disturbance, and this comes from the strip potentiometer. As the ball rolls over it, it reads where the ball is on the strip. The PID is in the servo. When the sensor directs back to the input where the ball is first where it's supposed to be, the servo determines the angle needed to have the input equal the output. This information moves to the transfer function that moves the linkage arm in quarterly to have the input equal the output. Here you can see as the ball comes to rest, the position also comes to rest, and it displays our position along the screen. All right, random number. In this video, we're gonna put the ball wherever it is along the potentiometer, and it's just going to try to balance the ball so that the ball just stays steady along the beam. As you can see, it's trying to hover around five. We just set it to a random position and it's trying to stabilize. There it is, the ball rests around the five area. As you can see, our knob is set to eight on the dial and now the ball balance is trying to position our ball at the eight mark and here it just came to rest.